Welcome back to the catch up here on Chris Cyborg's YouTube channel. I am James Lynch. She is Chris Cyborg. Chris, how are you this afternoon? I'm great, James. Chill, chill with family, home is nice. That's great. What did you get up to last weekend? We obviously had the boxing fight. We'll talk about that in a sec. But uh, what did you and, and, and your crew get up to? No, I went to, to Las Vegas this weekend and me, Gabby, I did some, we did a photo shoot there. You know, oh, cool. always after the fight, sometimes before, we do photo shoot for the OnlyFans and for all the, the sponsorship, everybody helping me. And it was an amazing time. Well, let's get right to it, Chris. What a fight that was uh, last weekend. We had Francis Ngannou, Tyson Fury, Ngannou knocking Fury down. Uh, what did you think of the fight, especially as someone who, uh, like Francis, went from MMA to boxing? You know, it's really cool to see MMA people come to the boxing. But the one of the things I saw, I, still, I, feel, I see Fury, uh, I think he's the uh, Fury, Fury? You guys can say Fury. Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury, yeah, yeah, you got it. I saw Tyson Fury, you know, he's he was really a little bit out of shape. And you see the guy who's in the shape in the best of his life, his nose is gonna be a great opportunity. It was a great fight. It was. Um now a lot of people felt like Francis did enough to to get the victory. It went to Tyson Fury. How did you score the fight? Uh looking at the fight, how, who do you think won? No, I saw the guy you know drop drop you know the Tyson in the in the round. And you know he did the eighth round. He did great for me. He's won the fight, but for the boxing, uh, boxing the match, everything you know he lost. But the fight, I think, is won. Absolutely. Uh, I saw after after the fight, uh, your post uh, calling out Katie Taylor. Any update on that? You know, uh, Katie Taylor is a big name in the sport. You know, she's a ta she's a legend in the sport too. And we almost the same age. I think it was it was a it was a great. Maybe we can fight box. I'm mean, going maybe fight. Um, Leah, uh, McCourt in the, in the Belfast. Bellator, yeah. 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 So maybe have the opportunity, maybe after, you know, I'm a little bigger than the, the, the Katie Taylor, but you know, she, we can be great fight for the fans and can be Ireland too. I also saw that Clarissa Shields and Alicia Baumgartner both said they wanted to fight you. It must be pretty nice, Chris. You've got all these fighters who, uh, you know, want to, uh, fight you in the boxing ring. Um, you know, how does that feel? Ah, this is so cool, you know. You after 18 years, you continue on top, and then people calling you out, just just giving me, um, you know, give motivate me for continue learning, continue training. You know, Clarissa is the, you know, Clarissa is the big in the sport too, big name in sport. You know, uh, but she's older than me. She's younger than me, 10 pounds heavier than me. She's 10 times more experience in the box for me. You know, um, I this fight can happen, but you know, she's really say I, I she's the goat. You know, uh, I think she she's already started going to MMA world. And you know, box don't pay like MMA. You know, you guys know MMA make more money than people in the box, the girl female boxing. Mm -hmm. So maybe if she's she's the goat. Maybe she's already started MMA fight. Maybe she can come to MMA and after this, maybe we can think about rematch or something in the boxing. But you know, it's a different reality in boxing and MMA female fight. You know, I get paid very good for doing MMA. And speaking of women's boxing, Amanda Serrano once again getting a win in the ring. What did you think of her performance? No, it was a great performance. You know, I love to watch Amanda Serrano fight uh, and the Brazilian Danila too. So it was a great, it's nice how they promote the fights, the female fights, and you know the the box, the male fights is really cool. And I love to support the women's boxing. So we got some questions about your fight, Chris. Uh, January nineteenth, we know the date. Uh, is it going to be two or three minutes? And how many rounds will it be? And what weight? What can you tell us so far? You no, know, it's going to be one fifty four. Um, eventually, you know, I'm going to drop to one forty seven. Uh, but my next one is going to be one fifty four. Uh, it's going to be six rounds in two minutes. Um, I'm going to continue doing the two minutes. I think it's a new sport for me. You know, I'm improving. I'm learning. And I don't have an amateur fight to go straight to the uh, professional. So I mean, really work on this the speed, timing, how's it work. And probably it's going to be, I did my first professional, 10,000 people watching. And then is it is no, I'm learning and I'm learning, but I'm, I'm love, I love challenges. When will uh, tickets go on sale for the fight? Do you know that yet? Um, I believe it takes going to sell uh, Tuesday, November 7. Nice. But I think soon we're going to have where everything, you know, is going to be. Good. We're looking forward to it. And any plans for, for training camp? I know we talked a little bit about this last week. Uh, any Anything confirmed for what you'll be doing for camp? No, I'm going to start in my camp here in California, probably with Vigio uh, Tito Sinner. Uh, he's always in here, around here. So I was training before for him. We're going to train a little bit. And maybe I ended the camp in, in Seattle with Benavidas team. And yeah, I'm looking forward to a great, team, great camp 
for this next fight. Yeah, you can't beat that combo. That's great. Uh, we forgot our Portuguese saying in the last week. Well, we'll say it this week. Uh, how would you say, uh, let's go for a jog? How would I say that in Portuguese? Vamos. Vamos. Correr. Correr. Yes. Vamos correr. So the good news is, if I ever go to Brazil, I'll know how to exercise because uh, you just told me how to go for a jog. So that's really good. Easy. Uh, you know, I needed to pay. You know, you just put your phone's headphone to go run. <laughs> exactly. No, no, for sure. It's a good workout. Exercise. Before we get out of here, always got to let uh, our audience know, uh, first, make sure you hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell on this channel, but also the premium service, chriscyborg.com. You can sign up for less than a cup of coffee. You can use Bitcoin. There's the Q&As every month. There's the instructional videos. So there's that. There's also your OnlyFans. You mentioned it off the top. You got exclusive content up there as well. Let the people know, Chris, what you got going on outside of the cage. You know, I, I love I love all my OnlyFans fans. You know, it's really nice to pass it 50,000 followers you know, this means people, you guys love the videos, everything you're doing there. We do our best for you guys to know me, not just inside Octagon, then, but outside too. And I want to say thank you for all the support. And soon we're going to have instruction and videos and the OnlyFans too. And you guys are going to love. I'm very excited.